Welcome to business. The Tinkan Island Customs Command has uncovered 33 containers of expired, smuggled, foreign, parboiled rice in Lagos. Another 21 containers were also found to contain hundreds of cartons of tramadol, performance enhancing drugs and other unwholesome products. TVC News correspondent Ifunanya Eze reports. Two months into Nigeria's land border closure and already smugglers are redirecting their attention to the seaports. These containers lined up here are 54 in number, but 33 of them are filled with rice. On closer inspection, it was discovered that most of the rice in these containers are expired. The arrival of the Controller General of Customs to physically inspect this particular seizure suggests that this development was expected in view of the border closure. He described the imported containers of expired rice and other prohibited items as dangerous. Realizing that there, are many, <coughs> there may be possible backlash to the closure of the land borders, I directed all seaports and airports beef up to beef up their surveillance and intercept any illicit and prohibited consignment. They include 33 containers of rice, one container of rice concealed with spare parts, 11 containers of unregistered pharmaceutical products, two containers of used tires, one of used clothing, and four containers of refined vegetable oil in retail packs. The total number of containers are 54 in number. On the issue of the continued closure of the land borders, he insists the status quo would remain until neighboring countries comply with ECOWAS extant laws on regional trade. As long as we do not get these people to come and sit down with us and agree to implement the ECOWAS tariff, we didn't design it. It was designed by ECOWAS. We all are sent to it and we want it to be adhered to strictly. If that is achieved, then we'll see how we can manage the borders together because then it would have become a collective effort with Nigeria and other neighboring countries to ensure that our borders are secured. As long as that is not done, the borders will remain closed. The 54 seized containers with a duty paid value of more than 2.7 billion naira were in contravention of the 46 and 161 sections of the Customs and Excise Management Act. Ifunanya Eze, TVC News, Lagos.